What's up you guys, it's Keith from Stock Hours here. Today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. Um, we're gonna do kind of a sit down talk about why day trading gets such a bad reputation. Now there's a lot of reasons why it gets a bad reputation, um, but we're gonna discuss, are they all necessarily accurate and the things that we do to counteract that bad reputation that day trading gets. So yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. The first reason why I personally think day trading gets a bad reputation is because people compare it to gambling. Now, if they're comparing it to gambling in a sense where you're risking your money to make money, um, I guess you could call them right, but that applies with any business that you're going to start. Obviously, you're going to be risking money in order to make money. The difference is gambling, you have no idea what's going to happen. You still don't have an exact idea of what's going to happen in a trade, but you can manage your risk as opposed to you put in this money. If you win, you double it. If you lose, you lose it all. That's not the case with trading. You can manage risk by keeping your stops at say 10% or 5%. So say you're playing with a thousand dollar position sizes, you can keep it at a $100 loss, a $50 loss. Whereas gambling, if you're going in to uh, play blackjack with a thousand dollars, if you win, you'll get $1,000 back. If you lose, you lose that full $1,000. I understand where people are coming from when they compare it to gambling, but at the same time, I they don't necessarily understand more than just the base level of, yes, you're risking money in order to make more money. The second reason I think day trading gets a bad reputation is basically just due to the fact that people think it comes overnight. People don't think it takes the work that it actually takes in order to be profitable with trading and stick around for the long run. And that's mainly due to the mentors that these people decide to look at. The ones that are posting 500%, 1000% plays every single day. Um, that's just not realistic. Whereas if you're looking at the right mentors and trying to model yourself after the correct business model, you're going to be looking for the mentor or business that's consistently making money in the long run. You know, you're not trying to make a whole bunch of money all at once. You're trying to consistently make that money. And I think that's a big red flag that a lot of people get is they just don't think that it takes the work that it takes in order to be consistent. When they start, they find out very quickly that that's not the case. Um, you're not going to make a ton of money really fast. You're not going to do anything like that. And they end up quitting. The third reason I think day trading gets a bad reputation is because of the statistic that everyone sees. Everybody sees that 90% of traders fail, which yes, that is true. But what do you count as a trader? Do you just count a trader as somebody who opened an account and started trading as a trader? Or do you count the people that put in years and years of work in order to get there? This is kind of piggybacking off of the last point where people think it's going to come overnight. You are not a trader if you just started and you just opened your brokerage account and you just started taking your first couple of trades. That does not qualify you as a trader. In my eyes, you might be learning. You're in the learning phase as a trader. I have traded for quite a few years now. And a lot of those years I was in the learning phase. I wouldn't have necessarily qualified myself as a trader. I started in eighth grade, but I wasn't a trader in eighth grade. I was learning trading. So that's another misconception of that statistic. There is 90% of traders fail. Okay. Well, what is a trader? Because all of the traders that I know that have been around for a long time, they are not failing. Those are traders. For example, everybody that runs and helps run stock hours. Those are traders. We are traders. However, somebody that just opened their account and took one trade today and it was red and then they shut their account down. Well, that, I don't think that makes them a trader, but according to a statistic, did they trade something? Yes, they technically did. Did they lose? Yes, they technically did. Okay. Well, there we go. Let's add that into the statistic. So 
that's another red flag that I think people see with trading. Um, it's really just not the case. If you come to the charts every day, you put in the work, you put in the effort, you find a good set of mentors. I don't think that metric would be the same if everybody handled their education first, but everybody's just worried about making the money. The fourth reason I think trading gets a bad reputation is due to movies like The Wolf of Wall Street. Don't get me wrong, I love the movie, but that's all people know about stocks. Like just to the average person, that's all they know about stocks. If you're day trading, it's gotta be a pump and dump scheme, you're trading penny stocks. That's not the case. Um, I personally trade options. Everybody in stock hours trades options on large cap stocks. No matter how much money this group had together, that we couldn't move these stocks if we wanted to. Plus we trade options. So we can't influence the price of the stocks. That's not how this works. So yeah, I think that's another reason why trading gets a bad reputation. Um, just because everybody immediately bases it off of the only thing they know, which is movies. Um, movies like the big short movies, like Wolf of wall street, it's always something crazy. So that's, that's all the majority of people know about it. Fifth and final reason why I think trading gets a bad reputation is people that don't respect trading as a job. It is a full-time job. If you have the skill and you've practiced, you've worked your way up to the point where you can trade full-time. It is a full-time job. You need to be able to put the right amount of time into it in order to really be your best. And I'm not saying go quit your job. I personally, while I was learning, I was working full time and trading full time. So I just had a super packed schedule. I had to sacrifice some sleep, but it's okay. We're here now. Um, and I just don't think it gets respected as a full time job just because you can work from wherever you want. So people just automatically assume, okay, well, you just want to be lazy and sit at home all day. No, really not. Uh, pretty much any chance I get to, I'm out, I'm doing something, I'm in the gym, I'm working. If I'm home, I'm working. If I'm not home, it's usually at the gym, sometimes maybe going for a run, sometimes maybe out doing something else outside. But I think people just get the misconception that just because you want to trade, that means that you don't want to work. I think that's a very childish perception of trading. I think it's a very childish perception of any online job. Because at the end of the day, if somebody works a desk job, what are they doing? They're sitting in a computer just like you are, except they have to get up and go to an office for that. That is a big misconception that I see about trading is, I don't know, you're trying to work as little as possible. If you're trading full time, you're going to be working more. I promise you, you're going to be working more than you ever have. All right. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked this sit down talk kind of video, um, drop a comment, let me know, and maybe we'll start doing more on here. But I appreciate you guys coming. Have a good rest of your week, and I hope you end the week green. Peace.